Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Nicole and this is Divine Lee Design Studio and today we're here for a diamond painting haul from Diamond Art Club. So let's get started. everybody and welcome back to the channel thank you for taking some time out of your day and clicking on this video to find out what it's all about as I said in the intro today I am doing a diamond painting um, haul video now the two of these charts I got earlier on in the year uh, pretty close to January I think I got them and I also got uh, another three charts uh, for my birthday I got some birthday money and so I got myself some charts all right, so just to let you know, these are all from Diamond um, Art Club. Uh, that's predominantly where I shop now for my larger canvases. I just love their quality and everything like that. Uh, basically, I will leave a link down below where you can go and shop at uh, Diamond Art Club. It is an affiliate link, and uh, basically that means I get a little bit of a kickback if you purchase anything from that link. Now, you will never be disappointed with Diamond Art Club stuff either. So, um, I love their canvases. So, you can see one just behind me here. Um, the other one is from craftably.com. Their canvases are just as great as well, although I'm not affiliated with them. Um, and that was actually a gift from someone, so I didn't actually purchase that one but um, from what I've been told of when it was purchased and everything like that they also have great customer service as well but I predominantly shop at fan sales or I shop at um, Diamond Art Club uh, I've got the app on my phone which is a dangerous thing at times but I have an extensive wish list in there so uh, so hopefully um, yeah I won't break, break the budget too much so as I said I don't often buy too many of them um, but when I've got, you know, birthday money or anything like that, I straight away get onto my wish list and uh, grab some. And um, I've got a few more up on my shelf, which I don't think I've actually shown you them. They're from last year that I purchased around my birthday as well. Um, and then the rest of my charts and everything that I've got, I've got from fan sales or they've been gifts from people and stuff like that. But I predominantly now work on really large canvases um, and occasionally you'll see a few um, extra ones. All right, so let's get into the haul. I have unboxed them all already, um, so I'm just going to show you uh, what I have got um, and what the drills look like and all that sort of stuff. It's not necessarily an unboxing as such. I mean, for the most part, people that do diamond painting know what you get. Uh, so they all come really packaged really nicely in, in here. Um, this one is for tea and books. And the canvases are really easy to, to see. So you can see there that the picture looks really clear. Um, it's clear close up as well. It is a poured glue. Um, and this particular one is a round drill. Um, I don't know if it's got any ABs in it. Oh, yes, it does. It has two AB, uh, sorry, three ABs in it. And uh, yeah, so I'm not too sure where they're going to go on there. But this has got um, this particular one. I am doing for the door of my daughter's room at Savannah. Uh, we're turning her room into a library and it'll have a fold out bed for when she comes to stay because she's now moved out of home. And uh, she is a bit of a teetotaler. She loves butterflies and of course she loves books. So I thought that this was absolutely perfect to go on the door. So this is one that will be getting done sooner rather than later. And I got this one for my birthday. Um, so yeah, it has 57 colors in it. So it's a it's probably the biggest one I've had actually color wise apart from heaven and earth but I haven't started any of them yet. Um, so as I said, it's got three I believe it's got three um, ABs in it, and uh, it is 20 inches by 25 inches, which equates to 51 centimeters by uh, 64 centimeters. So there is all the information um, on there, and uh, the artist is a Bridget Ashwood. Um, so this here will get put into my whip journal and then I usually I don't usually use these uh, stickers but I put them into the whip journal so if the release papers are covering up the the um, legend on the side of the canvas I can just um, pull that out and work from that and it makes it nice and easy but everything is really clear um, on the lighter colors the symbols are in black and on the darker colors they're in white so that makes it nice and easy to see um, I really like that about the the charts it just makes it so much easier 
Now I do, I have pulled these all out of the boxes, so um, bear with me why I get them. I don't even know where this box is. So I might just sit them down over here and then that way I can put them back into the boxes. All right, the next one I got, um, and these aren't in any particular order. This is another birthday one though. Um, this one is called Oberon. This one has 46, um, 46 colors in it. It is 20 inches by 25 inches, which is 50, around 50 centimeters by 64 again. Uh, it has three ABE colors in it as well. So, um, and this one I got just because. Uh, because, it, 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 I mean, you'll see in a moment. Um, again, everything comes uh, nicely packed. There's a lot of green and darkish colors in this one, but predominantly greens, different greens. Uh, and as I said, this is called Oberon. And I got this just because every house needs a cat in a hat. <laughs> in a witch's hat. Um, so, yeah, so we've got, you know, the candles in the background. We've got the, the cat that is looking very majestic, if, if, if I say so myself. And we've got some um, curtains in the background and all that sort of stuff. So, as I said, it's predominantly green, uh, but the cat is, like, there's shades of green up in here. And there's, um, yeah, the shades of green on the outside of the cat and whatnot. Um, and, of course, his eyes are green as well. So, there's going to be a lot of green in this one. And I'm planning on doing a lot of these charts next year, but I'm also going to be working on my heaven and earth as well. Um, so I probably won't do too many whipping chats for these sort of charts, maybe one every now and again, maybe once a month or something, but I'm going to be predominantly working on my um, heaven and earth one, which I will show you in just a moment. All right, this one here, I also uh, got... For my birthday because I just have to had just had to have it um, this one's called Midnight Magic it is by Cheryl Baker and I don't think I actually told you the name of the artist of the other one or maybe I did uh, let me just find Oberon's artist um, but I'll leave a link down below uh, of the names and everything uh, Elizabeth Alba is the artist of Oberon um, I just love Oberon very nice indeed uh, as I said this one is called Midnight Magic this one it has 60 colors in it so this will use up my whole storage tray uh, it's by Cheryl Baker it is 23.6 uh, inches by 30 inches which is 60 centimeters by 76 um, it has three ABs in it as well um, and it is a square shape this one uh, Oberon was a round one I believe as well let me just have a look Yes, Oberon was a round one. I did forget to say that. This is a square. Um, I don't mind doing the squares, but I had to get this. Like, this is just so, so cute. It's little mice casting spells around the cauldron, and it's got all the witchy elements that you could think of. And, yeah, so I absolutely love this one. Um, I didn't, I got these in, I think I purchased these in September. Um, I got these of this year, but I just love this. I think this is absolutely fabulous. Like these are all big ones. I don't even know where I'm going to hang them. Luckily, I've got a lot of wall space, um, so I am lucky in that aspect that I've got 12 foot ceiling, so I can put them um, <laughs> in my house. But uh, yeah, I just love doing them. I, I don't even care if I don't hang them up. It's just the the fact that I can do them, and of course these are a little bit Halloween Halloweenish, so I can you know put them up. At Halloween and then take them down again if I wanted to. All right, so these next two I got closer to the beginning of the year. I don't always do haul videos and all that sort of stuff, but I did want to share with you because I will be working on these charts next year, um, and I'll be working on them throughout the year. Uh, whether I do them, in, you know, quickly or just take my time or whatever, I think I could probably. That's what five charts. I think I could do, you know, one every two months or so. We'll see how we go, and then also the heaven and earth. As I said, I will get out in just a moment. All right, so this next one, um, I have a cross stitch chart called um, Which Way, and I absolutely love this artist. Um, stuff and I haven't seen too many of her her charts around in saying that I haven't looked either but this one is called One Halloween it's by Molly Harrison and as I said she also has um, over on um, Heaven and Earth is where I got the the Which Way one and my friend Gail actually did the same chart 
started at the same time, it was a couple of years back, started at the same time. Obviously she finished her diamond painting before I finished my cross stitch because I haven't, I haven't actually worked on that at all this year. Um, it will probably be one that I'll get out in the next year and work on that as well, as while I'm, you know, doing a little bit on this. So this one actually has even more colours. This one has 65 colours in it, so we're progressively going up. Uh, this one is a square drill. Uh, as I said, it's by Molly Harrison. It is 22 by 28 inches which is a 56 centimeters by 71. So you can see I do like the large charts. All right, so let's have a look at the, the colors in this is absolutely stunning. Um, how many ABs do we have in this? We have three, four ABs in this one, and you can see how the colors are. They're just not as dark as my normal ones, but you can see there's just some, sorry about the glare, but there's some beautiful colours in there. I'm looking forward to working on it. I can't see the ABs. Um, did I mention that this was a square one as well? So this is going to take me a little while to do. So this might take me a little bit longer than a couple of months. But let's have a look at it. So you can see there. Just gorgeous. And which way um, the cross stitch chart, it's the same witch but she's facing... She's walking away, she's holding a lantern and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's a decent one. Obviously, there'll be some ABs up in her um, in her cape that she's got on and all the rest of it. But what I might do when I start working on this, I will probably uh, stitch on which way as well. So, um, and that's a full coverage uh, piece. So I'll do the same, do them at the same time and, and hopefully um, make some progress on that one as well. It's got, that one's a lifer, it's going to take me a little while to do. Um, it's very heavy uh, confetti at the moment where I'm working in, so I think that that's why I put it down. But anyway, that's another video. Um, of course, you know, our charts all come with little stickers that you can put on the side of the box as well. So if you've got them stored and you can't see the ends of them or the fronts of them, you can put them on the end to make it nice and easy for you. All right, the next one is called, again, comes with your little sticker. Uh, this one is a square drill as well. Okay, um, and this one is 21.6 inches by 28.7 that is very specific uh, which equates to 55 centimeters uh, by 73 centimeters uh, this one only has um, 38 colors in it and it has uh, one AB in it so that's all it's got in it so that's not too bad um, and this one is very autumnal so this one will probably come out in autumn. It's got a lot of the real autumn vibes to it. Um, it is called um, Rhiannon and it is by Micah Jelena. Now Micah Jelena is, if you've watched my, um, my diamond paint with me this month, Micah Jelena is the artist for Serafina. So I really like this artist's work and that's why I ended up getting this one as well. So I purchased Serafina and Rhiannon um, at the same time. And also, Rhiannon is also my favourite uh, song by Fleetwood Mac. So it sort of resonated with me. And as you can see, it's very autumnal in the colours and whatnot. And it's a decent size. Everything's super clear. Um, you know, like you can see it very, very clearly. This one, again, is a square piece. Uh, there is a lot of... Um, block color in this one so this one's going to go really quickly now i'll just bring it up and show you so right at the background here this is all one color this is all block coloring here so this is going to go very very quickly um and just looking at it it's only as i said it's only got 38 colors in it so it is going to go super quickly um when you've got the more colors i find that they're more confetti heavy um with those ones and those drills are just absolutely stunning in color i just love the colors that are happening in here so this one is probably going to get started in autumn um and you know i'll just work through it as much as i can in that time so that'll be really good to get that done and um another one off my shelf so i am excited very excited that these are all coming about all right so that is all i've got from diamond art club now i'm i purchased two charts from 
heaven and earth and as i said i don't do haul videos very often um and i may have shown these before like just briefly i may have done an unboxing and stuff like that i didn't go and have a look beforehand but this is one that i'm going to be starting next year um on the first of january i'm going to break up um my chart i'm going to uh take the release papers that are about this size um which is about the size of a photograph um a standard photograph and i'm going to break up the canvas i'm going to be doing that with all the canvases and i'm just going to break them up as you can see these ones are numbered um i'm going to break the diamond art club ones up into 30 and try and get them done if maybe every second day or, or whatever this one i'm not going to number as such but i am going to break it up into small sections and whether i um work on that section for that day or whatever i'm going to do it over the course of a year so i'm hoping that i will get 52 sections which means that i will be doing one section a week and then by the end of next year i will have this chart finished now this chart has been calling to me incessantly for the last couple of weeks and that's why i decided that i'm going to do it now one of my other favorite um artists is um is uh lisa parker and i have two charts in here so you can see they're quite big these are from heaven and earth designs i do not have an affiliate link for them but i will leave the charts down below where you can go and check them out um and what i did there are two places they just sell the canvases and then you've got to purchase the the drills separately the drills are packed away right now in a very dark cupboard right up the back because i've had this these here for over a year now um, so I've got them packed away and I won't be able to show you the drills But when I go to kit it up, you'll get to see all that and that'll be closer to the end of the year So, um, yeah, I ended up purchasing two charts last year um, from the canvases rather from um, From their diamond painting section on heaven and earth designs website now they have two styles of um, Canvases that they sell you can get a colored one and you can also get where it's just the symbol and no color so i got one in color and i got one with no symbol in hindsight i probably should have got the cat one in color and the secret door one in black and white because the cat is black and that so it is going to be hard to see those things but i've got my light pad and all the rest of it um, i don't know how well it uh, shines through now when you get the charts there then the canvases rather you can tell i'm a cross stitcher right uh they don't come scalloped like they do with diamond art club so i'll say that right off the bat they're not uh soft like when you touch a diamond art club one they're soft so you can hear the difference like when my rings run across it it sounds like a canvas whereas you can't really hear that on um on the other ones on the diamond art club so let me just get these unraveled because these have been sitting in their little tube um they come neatly packed in these uh nice and secure taped up really well with fiber tape so there's no risk of them coming undone um and let me just so these have 90 colors in them okay so these are big they i'm pretty sure that um secret door has 90 colors in it um, i haven't counted them but these are color these are stickers so you can use these to uh, stick on your bottles and whatnot um, i haven't kitted this up yet because the simple fact is that um i don't have the storage here yet that's on its way so once that gets here then i will kit this up and i'll do a video kitting it up so these can get cut up and they just have all the color colors that you need and it's got the symbols on it as well um and it's also got the color number that corresponds these are a sticker so you can stick them onto your bottles to make it super easy for you and it has the dmc number on there so you've got the color the symbol and then the dmc color uh, color number so you can put that onto your bottles um and i generally i i normally just go one to to 60 in my things because i can do that um so yeah all right so um let me just have a look i don't have the artist names here i'm just having a look if they've got any of the artist names on any of the okay so it's parker and vanderberg so i don't know their first name 
Okay, so Lisa Parker, I know her name because she's one of my favorite artists. She does a lot of cat imagery and stuff like that. Um, so this is called Mini Witching Hour, and it is, a, as I said, it is a Lisa Parker one. This has not, I know that this has about 90 colors in it. You do have the legend down the side of your canvas. Um, I don't have any stock picture, but you can see here, this is a black and white canvas so you can just make out like there's an arch there that's the window and there's a cat laying down here there's a candle um, some spell books and all the rest of it so it's not a very clear chart what I do like though is that um, they do the washi tape before you get it so you don't have to worry about doing that this canvas is huge like this would be I reckon this is about 30 inches wide um, by 35 inches high it is absolutely massive it's going to take me a month of sundays to do it um oh yeah so the artist work is named down the bottom of it okay so you can see down here we've got let me just fold that over these are so cumbersome so down the bottom here it's telling me it's mini which way and there's nothing mini about it <laughs> by lisa parker so this one isn't getting done next year Okay, I'm going to set that aside, although I do have the drills for it and all that, so I'm going to sit down there because it's huge. Um, so I've got the drills and everything for it, and I believe that there is 90 colours in that one. And this one here, this looks like it's got more than 90 colours. Oh, that's just a spare piece. No, it's got about the same as well. Maybe a little bit more, maybe 95 colours or, or something along those lines. I'd have to go onto the website and count them, and I didn't do that before I started filming, so that's my bad. But this one is called, um, this is by, um, the artist is, oh, if I get it up the right way, um, it, this is called Mini Secret Door, and the artwork is by Babette Vanderberg. Um, and as I said, I purchased it from Heaven and Earth Designs. It is a poured glue. Um, uh, one as well and of course we have the washi tape on it but you can see the difference between the two charts um, this is going to be a lot easier to match the colors and all the rest of it that one's got the Lisa Parker one's going to take a long time to do because you're going to be looking for symbols and stuff like that but again I'm going to break it up I'll probably do that over a year um, and basically um, yeah so I figured if I can break this up into um, into 52 then I can do a section each week and then I, by the end of the year I'll have it done and I'm telling you that is a lot quicker excuse me a lot lot quicker than what any cross stitch is going to be so and I've eyed this off for so long and this is where I thought you know what I'm going to do it as a diamond painting and the same as the Lisa Parker one as well I thought you know what I'm going to do that as a diamond painting as well so they are all the little um they're little, they're not little are they? But I love how on um, on Heaven and Earth Designs they put mini, like there is nothing mini about these charts. These are bigger than the Diamond Art Club ones. So um, it's gonna take me a fair, fair chunk of change. So you'll see uh, videos um, centered around this. So the first one will be me kitting it up and how I'm going to do that, the storage system that I'm going to use and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I will also talk about the drills and where I got them from because there are two places you can get two styles of um, canvases from Heaven and Earth Designs and there are two places where you can get the drills from and I picked uh, one of one of each and done the same with the diamonds as well and just the, the diamonds look of much and muchness really like they look to be pretty um, clean there doesn't look to be much trash in them and all that sort of stuff but as I said I've got them packed away because I knew it was going to be a while before I got to them but that is my haul um this has pretty much been I, like I got the heaven and earth at the end of last year and then the other five I um I got um this year so that is my haul for this year and I've got a few other little canvases and stuff along the way as well from fan cells but um I'll talk I won't do an unboxing for them but uh this is my most recent haul the the three first three that I showed you and uh I'd just like to say thank you very much for joining me today if you haven't yet um 
subscribe make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it to uh, all notifications and then that way you won't miss out on any of the future uploads keep an eye out at the end of the year for me kidding up the heaven and earth and I will be doing a stitch with uh, stitch with me I'll be doing a diamond paint with me when I do the first section of that so you'll have to join me for that in January but as I said that is it from me today have a wonderful day everybody don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a diamond emoji in the comments let me know you got this far and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day everyone. See you then. Bye.